If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. Thanks so much for joining me today, the guy with two hats. Thanks so much for being here, Alex. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and continue with the daily uploads of a variety of decks. I also have the TCG Pokedex um, next decks ready, so I'm hoping... Hola Corcho. I'm hoping that... Um, hey Turbo Darkness, how are you doing? I'm hoping that um, you guys will join me, you people will join me in playing with the Pokedex decks. Um, the important thing about that is to play with like not very serious decks against each other so we have some quality games and quality content. So looking forward to that but in the meantime, <coughs> in the meantime, eh, Corcho si, sí, claro que si. Sí. Claro que sí, eh, yo creo que lo dejaremos para mañana, pero, pero sí lo puedo mostrar. Um, so yeah, today I wanted to show a Station ADP list that I really liked that a user on Twitter, Xiongye, um, used. It's the deck I used for the Town Store um, streamer showdown, and so some of you might have seen it there. It's a standard ADP Station for Altered Creation and... Break Blade and Intrepid Sword, but we have the four Crushing Hammers and the two Team Yield Grunts in order to deny our opponent's setup. Um, outside of that, it's pretty standard, pretty solid, pretty straightforward Station ADP, which I'm sure all of you, all of you are very familiar with. So yeah, that and Peak Grum are the two decks I want to show today. They are the decks that I've been playing with the most lately. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I showed yesterday the, the Mew 3 Malamar deck that I ended up choosing to play in the Limitless Invitational. I felt like it was a good choice based on the fact that... Um, based on the fact that there's... Um, like, there hasn't been a lot of talk about the deck lately, it feels. So I definitely felt that that would be um, a positive for that. You didn't have to worry about random Mimikyu's showing up. Um, only one water, so we will need to find our energy spinner next turn, most likely. Um, we do get the attachment, we do get a pretty solid turn one, and we even find <clears throat> the water, which is really, really nice. Like, this is almost as good as it gets, right? Losing the great catcher is not ideal, but I could just save it for next turn to KO a dead enemy, which I fully expect to happen here. All right, so we see the Coco Prism. We've always seen attachment to the active. I fully expect a dead change, like I said, and as long as my opponent, yeah, doesn't get turn one full blitz, which now he requires. Oh, he just draws into the wait and see hammer, like just oof. All right, well, that's pretty bad. That is certainly pretty bad news. The fact that my opponent just found the way on T Hammer without having to search for it. So all the advantage that we had going first is now completely gone. This doesn't mean I won't be able to win the game. It does mean, however, that the turn two full blitz is imminent. And at best, I will be able to match that with my own, um, yeah, 
with my own um, like I'll GX and then he knocks me out I knock him out but powering up Seishans is gonna be the problem here so I might be forced into a situation where <clears throat> I might be forced into a situation where so we know two we know one card in my opponent's hand Ugh, this top deck is just awful that top deck is actually awful um, but might as well, right? There's just no playing around this. There's just no playing around this. So I'm gonna go ahead and Trumpet Sword. The Crushing Hammers. If I flip a lot of heads, that might be useful. Uh, my biggest issue is that I have to dedicate the energy attachments here. I didn't get a single energy off of the Intrepid Sword, so I'm gonna rely 100% on the Metal Saucers to get through this game. That's gonna be the biggest issue. <clears throat> That is certainly going to be the biggest issue here. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes. Oh my god. <sighs> Hammers Picarom. Hammers Picarom. Okay, seems like my opponent's setup is actually not that um, perfect. Can I flip heads here? I can. Okay, that's good. So I'll. Uh, take away the attack bolt option. I'll definitely do this. I'll definitely be benching this guy. I'm gonna switch just in case something weird happens. I really need a metal energy, right? There you go. Thank you so much, Tech, for providing that. Um, the good news is not a single metal saucer is prized. Hey, Joni. <laughs> Buenos dias. So many uh, gold cards indeed. Thanks so much for the follow, Geomegam. Thanks so much for the follow. Alright, and even a Jirachim. Uh, perhaps, well, he could tack bolt anyways for four prizes, so that's not the biggest of deals. Should I spell witch here? I feel like I should. Hmm. I feel like I should spell wish. I have to switch. Yeah, this is important. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. So then I get immediate KO on the Pigron. And I'm thinning. And... New Big House Consulting, thanks so much for subscribing. I assume that's on... Um, that's on Twitch, right? Not on Twitch, sorry. On Facebook. Not on YouTube, jeez. <laughs> My mind is somewhere else today. So many golden cards, Absol MM indeed, thanks to the demo account that Pokemon has provided for me. I've been using it for a long amount of time. Okay, so my friend top decks research. <laughs> just in the nick of time. And yeah, it might just be that wait on sea hammer, the thing that turns the tables around completely for us. Um, now I'm guaranteed four prizes here, right? The issue now becomes like I don't care what else I knock out, I just need to knock out something. And that energy. I feel like my opponent. Well, maybe not. Yeah, because if he tack bolts, then he has no response to my station. All right. <clears throat> not the end of the world. The difficult part here is finding our other two metal saucers. So we basically have to go through our whole whole deck here, which absolutely will be useful. I mean, not absolutely. <laughs> sorry, Jirachi will be useful for that. Um, I can't play down my coal hand. I don't care about custom catchers anymore because I can KO everything that's in play at this point, right? So I just care about digging for those metal saucers and that is a fantastic, fantastic card to get. That is an absolutely fantastic card to get. Um, sure, I'm gonna custom catcher for one. Don't care about the Marnie. Or do I? No, I don't care. I just need to dig. That's all I need to do. I need to dig. Um, these are fantastic as well. These are fantastic to find. Except I... Uh, so I can afford another metal in the discard pile, that's for sure. And I can certainly dedicate change here. Don't care too much about the switch. 
down to 11 cards. So there we go. This should be plenty. With the Marnie, with the Research, with the Double Metal Saucer, that is just <coughs> absolutely fantastic. Just need to play basically everything that I can. Don't really care too much that I keep failing those hammers. I'm gonna go ahead and still wish. Go ahead and crushing hammer yet again. And I'm feeling pretty confident about my chances in this matchup. I'm gonna prime it with them, the Marnie. I do find a switch, which just in case of Absol, I'm not going to. Hello, Cather's World. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you enjoy, and then we'll Brave Blade. And that should be game over. There's no way my opponent can take three prizes, and me taking four right now, like recent stamp, right? Recent stamp is the biggest issue here for us. That is the biggest issue. But we have the Dene, we have Research, we have Stellwish. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see what happens. We shall see what happens. We shall see what happens. There's a peak round, that doesn't matter. So worst case scenario is we get recent stamps. And we still have one, two research left, plus one Marnie, plus one Tadene, plus three quick bolts. So that's really good. And if we don't get recent stamps, then we should be able to look at our whole deck pretty much. But I'll, yeah. And there's more than one metal energy left too. So yeah, there's no way for my opponent to win anymore. Um, well, you know what? I guess there is. If he flips heads on crushing hammers. If he flips heads on crushing hammers, which he didn't even play a single one, then... Yeah, but this guy can't take a hit. Nothing can take a hit. So this just means we take 8 prizes. <clears throat> All right, so we should be good here. We should be pretty good, because I know I have more than one medal left in my prize cards. I'm gonna prime it with some the research. And then I'll go ahead and did a change. I'm gonna draw six, and then if off of those six, I do not find an energy, then all I need to do is um, research for the energy. So well played to my opponent, can't send it back. Um, the the wait and see hammer was definitely a nice tech inclusion. Definitely helps to make up for when you are going behind against ADP station or you're going second. But in the end, it wasn't enough for my opponent to take the win because I was able to find my four metal saucers, which thankfully were not priced at all. You know, so at that point, the custom catchers we lost them, but. It was important to use them to make sure we could use them in order to uh, draw cards to thin. We just needed to see our whole deck, and that was going to be enough to win every single time. Yeah. All right. So we do lose a gun flip. I think also that turn where I still was into a second metal saucer that was also pretty key. Um, did it seemed unnecessary, like it didn't need anything else that turn, but it was definitely a good use of the switch there. White Drake, thanks so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Do I do giveaways, Chris? I do do giveaways. Yes, I do. Um, not super commonly, but I do do giveaways. Geo Mega, you just started playing TCGO and my videos are helping you a lot. That's great. Yeah, that's what my videos are there for. That's my whole, that's the whole reason for me to do the videos. That's the reason why I started doing the videos because I'm a decent player at the game and I wanted to share that knowledge. Yeah, my, my idea behind showing this, I am not uh, doing a uh, giveaway right now, Chris, no. <laughs> um, the idea behind um, the idea behind um, my videos and the reason I started doing videos was precisely this, you know, to help other people. And thanks so much for the follow money. All right, so let me just think about this real quickly. I'm going to go for the Crushing Hammer on certain card first. That's really nice. Getting rid of an energy. And I do want to... I do want the station, right? I mean, not the station, the ADP. I do want the ADP. 
I do also want to play this down for sure. And then I definitely want to dead it change. It sucks that I'm gonna lose the metal saucer, not the biggest of deals. I only have one metal energy prized and no like nothing else, so should be able to find one energy off of this dead it change. And I actually find three. Chris, I usually give away codes for the online game. That's what I usually give away. Alright, is there any way for my opponent to remove an energy? I guess maybe there is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and still wish. Um, I only have a switching card for next turn, so I kinda like the crushing hammer, honestly. Because imagine, if my opponent goes for soul burst and the next turn I end up removing three energies, that is absolutely fantastic. And I can even guarantee an energy for the Intrepid Sword. Which is also pretty fantastic. So there we go. Yeah, there we go. This is not part of the Limitless tournament money. This is just a different deck that I've been using lately a lot online for online tournaments that I keep getting invited to. Codes of what, Chris? Of the online game, of the game you are watching right now. <laughs> um, the Limitless tournament was cancelled yesterday. It was unfortunate, as Kula Diamond said. It was unfortunate that the tournament was cancelled. However, it will be running. Um, next Saturday, supposedly, right? I, I, I'm sure we can expect like an announcement either today or tomorrow about what the plan is moving forward. So we'll have to see about that. But, um, but yeah, I really do expect. Yes, the codes are of packs, Chris. They are these codes. You know? These are the sort of codes you can expect me to give away. Um, you know? So yeah, it was unfortunate about the tournament yesterday, but understandable. Um, Obviously it was very ambitious, what they were doing, but I feel like if we had just waited like an hour, we could have continued with the tournament and done half and half of the rounds. I don't know. Chris, thanks so much for the follow. Battle fight crashed, um, it seemed like they had lost the data, then they didn't. Um, but yeah, like if the tournament is happening next Saturday, count on me playing it next Saturday. I didn't start streaming it immediately because it was I had to wake at 5 a.m. So I wasn't at my, I wasn't at my best <laughs> at that time, but, um, but yeah, it was, it was definitely going to be a very fun time for everyone involved. Geo Mega did any GX or Shamaniacs? Well, in Standard you can't choose. In Expanded, why not both, right? But in Standard you cannot choose which one you want to use, so I guess. In standard, you have to use the 10AGX. Which one do I personally prefer? Um, I like Shaman because it's not so all-in, if you will. Okay, definitely happy about the energy removal here. Definitely happy about the energy removal. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and make my point recover the rainbow, right? And then I'm gonna play this, no more stadiums. Um, 260 won't be enough, but that's okay, I guess. And let's go ahead and still wish. Ooh, this is great, right? This just prevents my phone from advancing this game state. And then we'll go ahead and switch. We'll go ahead and do this, just in case. And I'll prime it with some uh, Shirley Drachim. A metal that's pretty nice, and then we'll alter creation. So, getting the plus 30 wasn't that important. Um, delaying an opponent's possible attack was pretty big, and I really like, yeah. So, there's a certain as there's an energy attachment. We're gonna lose our person. But honestly, I think that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not great, of course, but... <clears throat> okay, so I just need a Metal Saucer to really recover from this, I guess. Well... Alright. So... Wait, okay, do I care about attacking this guy? 
Okay, I'm definitely not touching here. Let me just think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I do I wanna lose the custom catchers? That's that's the biggest thing. I guess I still have great catcher and whatnot, so might as well. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Return that energy. And then I guess I'll just do it change. Yeah. Alright, no metal saucer just yet. I'll thin as much as I can. And still with Sharuni, nope. No metal saucer for us. Huh. So I'll primate wisdom. Uh, this is really bad though. Uh, that's awful. That is really, really awful, but oh well. Much I could do about it. I am playing Sage and ADP with Hammers and Team Yell Grunts. That's what I'm playing. You've opened a ton of packs of PCGO and you haven't pulled a single that any GX or Station V, Moist Money. Well, that's the thing. The best way to get the cards you need on PCGO is to trade the packs for cards rather than open the packs. I definitely don't recommend opening packs. It's much better to trade the packs. Okay, a third Mew 3. Imagine if I had um, the the bands, the vitality bands, then that would be fantastic. Okay, there's ADP, there's Valplum. <clears throat> it's looking very difficult here. It's looking really, really difficult. It's amazing how my opponent was just holding everything that he needed though. Okay, that was a lot of energies discarded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten energies. If I recall correctly, doesn't the list play 10 energies? Like 4 rainbow, maybe 11? No, it probably plays 12, right? It probably plays 12 energies. Fails that, so either Yasser Reshis are in hand already, or... Yeah, like, that was a huge overextension on my opponent. Huge, huge overextension. Discarding energies when he didn't even need to, like he wasn't going to attack that turn. All right. Uh, Kula Diamond, no, I have not done the Trio Babies GX at all. <laughs> I had completely forgotten. I actually saved a deck for that um, somewhere on my Twitter, so I'll, I'll try and find it to to play it. Um, that's a good idea for a video. Uh, but yeah, that's Hammer Station B for you. Like, denying energies is always, has always been really good. It's especially powerful in the mirror match, which we did not get to face. But Hammer Station V, I think, has a lot of potential for for the future, honestly. Um, but yeah, that will be all for Hammer Station V. We're going to be moving on to Picaron after um, this quick commercial break, okay? Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. 